everybody, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake and we are joined by Jared from Rugged Made Still here on this visit. Um, if you've been following along in the last video that we featured Jared in, um, I climbed and took down this black birch tree here. And he, today in this video, we're going to be showing, processing it up and splitting it into firewood. So uh, Jared, are, are you ready to start firing up the chainsaws and conveyor and the whole nine yards? I am, let's do it. All right, sounds good. All right, so walk us through it. So the first step would be, now that we got the pole on the ground, I, uh, I like to mark it up into 16 inch rounds. It's just easier when it's all in log form like this. So I personally like to use this thing. It's the Mingo marker, can of spray paint, and uh, this wheel is set to mark it at every 16 inches. Mm -hmm. So, um, you nope. know, why 16? Uh, so I like to do 16 because I sell firewood okay. and that's the most common, you know, length that people sell in. It's easy to measure out a cord. It fits in most people's stoves and fireplaces, solo stoves, stuff like that. Um, so 16 also works really well to fit into the IBC totes that I use Great. to uh, stack and store the firewood in. All right, well, we've got uh, an upcoming video where we'll be talking much more about that, but uh, all right, so 16 inches. Yeah, so this is pretty simple. It basically, you just pull back the wheel until it stops like so. I drew a little arrow on the end. You have the arrow right at the end of the log, and then you basically just walk down it. So here we are in the wood lot, and Jake, I gotta say, it's really come a long way since the last time we were here. Uh, I think folks who are following your channel, they've been seeing every installment as you walk them through all the all the things you've done. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to Dude Ranch DIY yet, be sure to do that. Um, but for people who don't know the whole story, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, how we got to this point, because this is impressive. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when we bought the property, I had this vision of turning it into this, you know, wood yard, being totally out of sight from both the road and the house, long road in and basically hit the ground running. If you guys watched the last video uh, with the Wood Max chipper, that basically chipped up all the trees going back here. I have videos making the whole wood yard. And I think the last time you were here, I had it cleared, but it was just still bare dirt. Yeah. Um, so then I brought in about 40, 45 triaxle loads of asphalt millings, dumped that all, spread it all. That was a pretty big undertaking. And now, you know, we have our working wood yard and, you know, it's always evolving. I'm always changing up the process, get new equipment, trying to expand a little bit, but it's come a long way. Yeah, I mean, last time we were here, there was like this little window up through the trees, but now it's bigger. You know, we got the millings and might have some interesting things coming up uh, on that. We'll get to in a future video. Um, but I see our splitter, I see conveyor, we got trailer, all kinds of good stuff. So um, that's gonna be fun to play with. Yeah. Before we can do that, I think we got to wrap up our, uh, you know, topic of uh, bringing this tree down. Uh, we already got the marks on it. So what's the next step in this process? Yeah, so as you can see, I dropped the first log onto my makeshift, you know, bucking table station. High tech. Yeah, whatever you will. Um, you know, as opposed to cutting it on the ground, having to bend over, 
risking you know burying your bar in the dirt or in this case asphalt millings um, two simple logs that i chalked on either side and i just put you know my logs down on top of it and buck them up and then i simply push them off over here kind of stage it here and it's you know one seamless process um, you know sometimes when i have another guy helping me he's on the tractor pulling logs off cutting them simultaneously while I'm splitting. Um, so the conveyor helps in that aspect, just moving it away from the splitter and up into the dump trailer. So I think uh, we'll fire up the saw and get these logs bucked up. Yeah, I guess that's why I'm here, right? To help. <laughs> guys so in this part two here we kind of went from dropping the stick to splitting it up into the trailer from tree to trailer if you will yeah. uh, thanks for the help Jared that was fun yeah great to come down and see you again yeah it was nice being able to bring you back to the wood yard you know after it's more complete first time it was still in its rough stages and uh, you know it's an ever-going process as I'm sure you can imagine yeah. so um, this you made was, a lot of progress yeah <laughs> Uh, it was fun getting to show you the, the splitter and the new conveyor and everything. And yeah. this is the more updated version of splitting. I think last time you were here was a little more rudimentary. Um, so, you know, everything's an evolution. Yeah. So, uh, guys, don't forget we are running a six-way blade giveaway. So be sure to check out the details on uh, Rugged Made YouTube channel. Um, be sure to subscribe to them and to me if you haven't done so already. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Any questions, comments, or feedback, throw it down there in that comment section below. But for now, I'm Jake. I'm Jared. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.